Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. It's so lovely to have you back after such a long time. But now you're about to see why I haven't posted a video in so long. And I'm coming back to my channel with a room tour of my new room in my new flat. I'm so excited to show you guys what I've been up to over the last few weeks. So let's get straight into it with an overview of the bedroom here. You can see what I've been up to over the last couple of weeks, um, just decorating basically and getting all of my stuff sorted. Starting with my bedside cabinet, this was actually left here from the last girl that lived here and I'm really really grateful because I kind of upcycled it, repainted it and put some ribbons on the baskets. On top I've got that little um, cup that holds the cactus is from Velvet in Hove, it's a great little shop. And then I've just put some candles and a lamp from Dun Elm, which was actually in my original bedroom back in London as well. I've got a clothes round now, obviously this room is far too small to have a wardrobe, but I've actually really been enjoying how much inspiration it gives me every morning to make outfits because I can just see everything. And I have my bags and shoes underneath on the rack, which is really, really handy. Above that I have my 35mm film photos, some of the best that I've taken. Um, I absolutely love this, I love changing it monthly or each time I get a new roll printed. These are just a few of my favourites, um, a lot of them are from Budapest. I was so, so happy with how these photos came out. If you haven't seen the blog post over on Ray of Style, then do go check it out because I'm really, really, really proud of that one. And all of these photos are up on the blog. There's a few more of the things I've been up to in Brighton and just my friends and family. And then there's a few from France as well. On the side I always like to burn a candle, this is my favourite one, but I've nearly um, finished it. This is a diptyque one from, a uh, sandal one from diptyque. Um, I also love this little, I don't even know what you call this, like a little shelving unit from Velvet as well in Hove. Absolutely love that, have all my skincare and daily essentials on there, which I think I will do a video about soon. This is the dresser that I ordered from Wayfair.com, but I'll link everything down below if you want the exact details. Absolutely love that underneath my window. It's been really fantastic. Again, more candles. You'll see a lot of those through my room. And I just keep my jewellery and makeup brushes on the side, and I found it really, really handy so far. Absolutely love the dresser. It's perfect for this room. It goes so well with everything, and it's just so beautiful. Again, another candle and another little plant, two of my favourite things and a lovely photo there of Becky and Sophie, my two best friends in Brighton. In one drawer I have all of my makeup bits and in the second drawer I just have like hair and hand cream and then in the middle I have all of my extra makeup that I don't use every day and anything else in these little moody drawers which I will try and link below as well. And the middle of the dresser opens up with a compartment and a fantastic large mirror which I really, really love to use. This honestly was such a good price as well. I think it was originally £200, but I managed to get it in um, the sale for £60. Um, and I actually think I got it from Debenhams now, come to think of it. Honestly, I went on so many websites. Um, but I'll link everything down below. That stall is from TK Maxx, and I absolutely love the chrome finish. It's really, really lovely. And it goes with the rest of the room so, so well. I like how the base of that stall goes with the legs as well. And then this is my little window, so I've got a couple of fashion books up there. That Bill Cunningham book is absolutely fantastic. It's a sort of memoir from Bill Cunningham. Honestly, I recommend you read it. It's really, really beautiful. More plants, and both of those frames are from Velvet in Hove as well. Absolutely love that place. And then this chair is actually from Dunelm. I originally wanted one for my Kia but we found this one for so much cheaper and it had like a big saving on it as well. I think I ended up getting it for like £90 when all the rest were about 200 that I was looking at. And it's way better made than the more expensive ones. And that cushion is from Dunelm as well. I love that it's got all the colours of my room on that cushion. And the throw is an old one from Sainsbury's that I've had for quite some time. That chair is just gorgeous. I sit there and read my book in the evenings and read magazines. And I absolutely love it. And then I just keep my little, whatever bag I've got on at the moment, I keep in that corner. And then you've seen these pictures before from both of my old rooms. Um, the Beatles and the Chanel one from both the exhibitions that I went to. And there's my mood board. Couldn't get rid of that. Absolutely love my mood board. Gives me so much inspiration. And then this bed is from Wayfair, I think. But it's made by a separate company. But what I love about it is the legs and the material match the chair and I didn't even intentionally do that because I ordered both of them online so I didn't actually know what they were going to look like and they match perfectly. 
and that bed set is reversible as well which I really really like because I can change it over if I fancy and that's also from Danelle and everything will be linked below guys thank you so much for watching I'm so so grateful for your patience over the last few weeks I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you all very soon lots of love